Hello and welcome back to another Cookie Take video. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you on how you can customize chat with the text chat service. Around 24 hours ago, Roblox released a major update that allows you to customize chat and mess around with a ton of cool things. In this video, you'll be learning how you can enable the text chat service, how you can configure the chat window, how you can customize message appearance, add chat tags, or color usernames. A quick notice, if you prefer to read the text version down below, there will be a link to this in the description. To get started, we'll need to enable the text chat service. This is an important part of getting the system to work. This part may be a little bit confusing, so make sure you watch carefully. Once you're inside of Roblox Studio, head over to the Models tab. Next, you're going to have to look for the Insert Service button. Normally, this is visible, however, it may be underneath an advanced dropdown if you're on a small screen. Then, we're going to click on Service. I would recommend sizing this up so it's easier to view. Next, we're going to click on the text chat service. There'll be a person with a text bubble next to it. And then we're going to click on insert. Finally, we need to change from the legacy version over to the text chat service. Head to your explorer, then click on text chat service, and then change your chat version from legacy chat service over to text chat service. Now we're ready to go. When we inserted our text chat service, it automatically inserted these three objects. A chat window configuration, a chat input bar configuration, and a bubble chat configuration. If we head into Roblox Studio, this is what it will show. As you can see, we have this new chat box in the game. If we send a message, a normal chat bubble will appear. At the moment, this chat window and bar are a little bit ugly, but I'm sure Roblox will change this over time. If we want to hide the chat, we can manually change the enabled property of the chat input. So let's head over to our chat input, and then let's unselect the enabled check box. And then if we click play again, you'll see that the chat input bar will no longer be there. When we inserted the text chat service, Roblox added a bubble chat configuration object. This allows us to customize the bubble chat to our desire. Let's take a look at the properties. First of all, we have a background color. This controls the background color. Let's say we want a dark themed bubble. All we need to do is turn down the darkness of the bubble chat. Now, you may notice there is a tiny issue. You can't read black text on a black background. So we must change the text color. Let's change it from this grey up to this white. Down below we have a couple of behaviour properties. I would recommend not changing these unless you know what you're doing. If we head into the game, now we have these cool dark themed chat bubbles. Before this would have been a lot more complicated, but now all we need to do is join the game. Let's wait for it to load. And whoops, I forgot to enable my chat input bar. So let's head back to studio. And here, let's make sure it's enabled. Then, when we click play again, we'll have these once more, these cool grey bubbles. When we're in the game, if we say hi, we now have dark themed bubbles. Personally, I think these look a lot better than the white bubbles, but I'd love to hear your opinion on this down below. If you ever want a username to stand out, you may wish to have it with a custom tag next to your name. We're going to create a script that can handle all of the name tags inside of the game. If you want to be a bit lazy like me, we can copy this script from the school's code linked in the description down below. Now that we've copied it, we're going to make a local script inside of Start Play Scripts. So let's head over to our explorer, open up Start Play Scripts, and then inside of Start Play Scripts, we're going to create a new local script and then we're going to call this name tag manager. Finally, we're going to paste the code inside. The first lines import both the text chat service and the player service. And then the next line detects when a message is incoming and then it gets the content of that message. Now we're going to be creating a text chat messaging properties. Here we can change the name tag or the text that comes before the message. 
Now this line of code is checking if there actually is any text. Then finally we're getting the player that sent the message. Let's say we want a name tag for you. Right now there will only be a tag for me because my username is there. But let's say for example your name is Mr. Bacon. You just need to change the username here and Mr. Bacon. But I'm going to change it back to cookie underscore devx. This line, however confusing it looks, it sets the tag and then it sets it a certain colour. Let's say we want to make a VIP tag, we need to change admin to VIP and then let's say we want the colour to be golden. Now we need to get a HTML colour. The cool trick I like to use is I create a dummy part inside of workspace by clicking on the plus button and then inserting a part and then I'm going to click on this little colour wheel. Let's select a golden colour. Then let's copy the HTML, right click copy and control C, OK. You can delete this part if you want to. And then finally we can replace the colour with the colour we just copied. And as you can see we have the VIP tag here. Let's change it over to very important. Now if we play the message and chat, we should see a name tag next to our name. OK, let's try chatting. And now, great, we have a great tag for inside of your game. Let's say you want to add some pizzazz to your username. Using a similar method to before, you can change the colour of your username inside of the tag. If you use the code from before, you can alter this to produce the result we wish to have. We need to change line 10 a little bit. So we're going to completely remove all of this, and then we're going to say string.format. This will allow us to add variables into the text. Then what we're going to do is we're going to add a string. We're going to use the arrow. We're going to say font color equals. And just for now, let's put two apostrophes. And then in here, we're just going to put hashtag a5000. Then let's leave it blank. And then we're going to put another closing arrow. And then in here, we're going to put a percentage symbol followed by s and then in here and then finally we're just going to put slash font and finish it off there now it might be a little confusing you'll get it eventually where that percentage and the s is supposed to be is where the variable we're going to put is going to replace it so now we're going to put a comma and then we're going to say message and then dot prefix text okay there we go, we can now use this to our advantage. If we want to change our colour, once again, let's create a brand new part. Let's set this to be super green. And then if we click on the colour wheel, we can copy the HTML. Let's replace it. And now we'll have a green name tag. So let's head inside of the game to make sure everything works. Okay, let's try saying something. Okay, we have an issue. So it puts our username in, but it doesn't seem to be closing the font. Okay, there's going to be an easy fix for this. Okay, so it's super careful that you copy this correctly. As you can see, I made a mistake. I was missing an apostrophe, so let's paste that back in. And now make sure you copy this string super, super, super carefully, because any mistakes of it will not have it work. Now, let's try this again. Let's try typing hi, and there you go, we now have these very cool color usernames. I hope you enjoyed today's video, if you have any questions about scripting, or you would love to chat with the community, feel free to head to our forums linked down below. And that's all for me, thank you for tuning in, and bye bye.